What's up, y'all? Back with another <clears throat> Bitcoin cryptocurrency vlog. Just giving y'all my opinions on where we at, um, what we should look for, and how you can hopefully make some money um, from the action. So today, um, pretty much everything is down. Um, Ethereum's right around 170. I think Bitcoin is somewhere around 23, 2400. Um, pretty much everything is down except for a couple smaller coins, which are uh, up just a small percentage. Um, you know, two, three, four, five percent. So, <clears throat> some people are questioning whether we're in a bubble. Uh, they're wondering where the prices are going to go from here um, and whether now is a good time to sell. So in my opinion, we're not in a bubble as of yet. Um, this is a brand new asset class. So we're going to see action in the prices that we haven't seen anywhere else. Um, and also probably some, you know, the action will be volatile and unexpected in a lot of ways. So, um, you know, there are some benefits of reading charts um, but I think in this type of market um, you're, you're better off watching the news watching news reports coming out you know there's obviously a lot of traders in cryptocurrency right now so they're going to make their trades based on some of how you know how the charts are playing out so that still could be you know very functional in doing that but I think watching the news watching uh, different reports and if you're in cryptocurrency you are the market um, so if you're not ready to sell uh, probably most of the market isn't ready to sell we all hear these predictions of you know five hundred thousand dollars a coin one million dollars a coin for Bitcoin and if you're in this space and have been hearing that for a while why would you sell now and we're starting to get to that point where you know, the figures are looking crazy, you know, $3,000, uh, you know, then going to shoot two and pass 5000 Those are getting to points where, you know, we said we were going to be around this time. So, I don't think I have a few Bitcoin. I'm not looking to sell anytime soon. Uh, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there which are just holders, not looking to sell anytime soon. Um... And the reason for the price increase in such a dramatic fashion is just because it's really all over the news right now. It's being, seems like it's being ushered into the public spotlight um, by the news outlets. Um, and that's creating the FOMO, you know, for people who are just trying to get in because they've heard the, the rise it's had in the past. So. I think over the next couple months, couple weeks, we're still going to see a lot of movement to the upside. We're definitely going to see some pullbacks, some corrections. Um, but as people get their accounts processed, uh, buy Bitcoin, you know, it's processed. They can then, you know, hear about other coins, trade to other coins. They may want to buy more Bitcoin. Um, I think we're going to see the price rise. Uh, for the definite future, for the, you know, indefinite future. Say for at least the next couple years, we're going to see Bitcoin and all the other cryptocurrencies uh, rise in dramatic fashion. Um, so if you're one of those buyers who got in around 2500 2600 a few days ago, um, I wouldn't panic. It's just a correction. Um, eventually it will get back up to those levels and higher. Um, just something you're going to have to weather through and hopefully just try and forget about for now. Um, if you got in earlier than that, uh, now is a good buying opportunity because uh, I think this is probably um, the last few times we're going to see uh, Bitcoin in that $2,000 range, $2,200, $2,300. I think once it hits past, you know, gets past $25 again, um, we're probably not going to come back down you know, past that level. Um, 
based on the charts, looks like they're showing a lot of support around $2,000. Uh, so I think that's the, the absolute bottom we could go to at this point. Um, but since, you know, showing how we recovered from the, the correction a day or two ago, um, we're already back at 2400 I think, you know, now is a good time to start to look at buying more. Um, same is also with Ethereum. Um, so Ethereum was at 220 at one point. Um, looking like it was going to go to 250, um, but it didn't it had a pullback and it's trading around 179, 180 right now on a lot of sites. Um, and again, I think you know once the other announcements are made for Ethereum, um, more companies are onboarded within the next few months. Uh, we're going to see that price double again and and double. Uh, double and triple I think by the end of the year uh, you know I made a few a video a while back or a few days back now just a few days probably before the first spike saying by the end of the year Ethereum would be between 300 and 500 dollars um, I think I may have to correct that um, just based on you know how things are, are shaking out right now I think we'll probably be closer somewhere to 700 to a thousand dollars by the end of the year um, so if you have these coins hold on to them this is a dip this is what's expected you know I think we get a little bit um, spoiled in cryptocurrency when we see coins going up every day 5 10 20 50 100 percent 200 percent 300 percent and when we have a down day of five six percent People panic and think this is the end, but you know, as a lot of other experts say, this is just the beginning of the cryptocurrency space. Uh, we're going to see a lot of growth, a lot of money coming in within the next months, next few years. Um, we're still around a ninety billion dollar market, I think, at this point. Um, so I would expect another spike once uh, we reach that hundred billion and the the. Uh, news reports start to report on that saying, you know, we've crossed 100 billion in the entire market. I would expect another spike um, in the prices. And uh, that's it. That's, you know, just hold on to your crypto. Don't sell it. If you sell it, you're going you're gonna to miss out on profits. You're going to miss out when, when it comes back. Um, it's really hard to time the market, um, even if you're sitting here all day like I am. Um, so just buy and hold. Uh, don't worry about the dip. We went up, you know, we doubled in price, tripled in price in a very short amount of time. <clears throat> so a correction is due. Um, so you know, I'm going to keep holding on to my crypto. I'm thinking about the year 2020, 2025, when these things are worth, you know, Bitcoin, hopefully hundreds of thousands of dollars. And, uh, Ethereum hopefully be around ten, tens of thousands of dollars. Um, so, again, guys, don't don't worry about this dip. Um, I don't think it's a, a need to panic at this point. There hasn't been any substantial change to uh, the security of Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, or anything like that. Um, and that's that's where we that's where we at. So. Just another dip, just another buying opportunity. You know, buy low, sell high. Um, this is where you buy. Uh, buy when others are fearful. All right, so uh, thank you all for tuning in to another video. If you got any questions, definitely leave it down in the comment box. I always respond to my comments. Um, check me out on Instagram at legal underscore Jones. Uh, subscribe to the channel below, uh, hit the notification button, um, and I'm going to keep putting out more videos, just giving my perspective on where we are in the crypto space, um, and hopefully how we can uh, stay ahead of the game. Alright y'all, keep buying that crypto.